going? I am here today with a non makeup face because we are going to do another episode of Let's Talk Trash. I feel like I need to like snap when I do that. Like, I'm pretty excited about it. I have a lot of trash. I have a new mask and a new mask brush. And I'm just pretty stoked in general. Jojo's back there on the bed. Can you see him? No, I don't think so. This is the So AE Simple Skin Care from the Best of Nature. This is the Charcoal Clay Bubble Mask. I have not yet done a bubble mask. I'm very excited. It says is it, it is an oxygen bubbling mask, an invigorating clay mask infused with the powerful purifying benefits of active Binko, bincho, bincho tan charcoal and oxygen to refine and refresh pores. It has directions here. I should probably read them first. Before opening, press down on pouch with palms and sweeping motion from top to bottom. <laughs> like that, I assume. Are you like actually in the bubbles? I think I'm petting it. Wake up, darlings. Apply an adequate amount evenly on dry or damp face, carefully avoiding eyes and mouth. When the bubbles form, wet fingertips and massage gently in upward and outward circular motion, starting from the center of the face, rinse off with water and follow with regular skin care. This is the prep brush from the Real Techniques like Prep and Prime set, it might be called. I doubt it's called that actually because that's like max phrase, is it not? But um, it's a cute little set. It comes with an orange beauty blender, obviously. It comes with this. It also comes with these. It comes with the Real Techniques Under Eye Revirus, this little metal thing. I'm like really having a hard time using it. And then this is the Real Techniques, oh, it even has it, Beauty Spatula. So it's got like a flexible little piece there and a flexible little piece there. And I think it says that this is for like scooping out of jars and stuff, getting the last drop of product, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna rip this thing off. I got this at Walmart, actually. They have like this new little skincare section that I was looking at, new stuff, and it was two for five with this and a little, I got another from this brand, oh dear God. The Lord is testing me every single day. Oh, I'm stupid. It's a spout. Wow, Laura, like, get your life together. Okay, let's see what it comes out as. I assume it's just gonna be clay, like dark clay. Oh, it's not quite as dark as I thought it was gonna be. What the fuck am I even doing? See? All right, let's do this. It says it is supposed to be for your pores, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's already. Okay, all right. I feel like I'm like ruining it when I like tramp it down with the brush, but okay. All right. Sweet. I should really like do something with this. Um, hold on. All right, I'm back. Um, I just filmed this whole little piece and then my camera said auto power off and I was like, I didn't hit record. <laughs> Great. So while you were out, <laughs> I talked about the mask. The craziest thing is that the mask, when I went into the bathroom, I put my hands into the water, I wet my fingertips like it says, and then I went to massage in an upwards motion and it basically turned into a wet clay mask. It felt like the consistency of if you were like rubbing one of the like Freeman feeling beautiful clay mask in your hands. It was very crazy. I liked it. Um, let me give you just the quick rundown here as I already did this. <laughs> but I'm stupid and don't know how to use my own camera. Um, I do not feel like it irritated my skin at all. My skin is kind of shitty right now because I'm on my period and, but I don't really feel like you can really like get a, like, is it gonna do anything from a one-time use mask, you know? I do feel like freshened or whatever and, you know, it's like, like I always say with the masks, like if it's not meant to be like a long term, like a program or whatever, you know, I kind of feel like 
it's more like the experience than anything to be honest because it's kind of like typically when I'm not filming it I'm like relaxing if I have a mask on I'm like enjoying the me time kind of idea and I feel like that is kind of like for me the purpose of masks but it might not be the same for other people but you know it is what it is but I topped it off because I did feel a little bit like I was needing a moisturizer I topped it off with this is my new favorite it's from I got it in a Sephora play box it is the too school too school for cool too cool for school all-in-one egg mellow cream and it is this kind of like you know it's just an all-in-one moisturizer I fucking love this like so much. I really, really like this and I'm probably going to end up buying the full size because I am a, I am now addicted to it. This is the Hada Labo something lotion, watery lotion, something to that degree. It is a toner actually, but this is a toner that my friend gave me. This is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Former Formula. It is an alcohol-free toner with rose petal. And as you can see, it's very liquidy. This is different. It's completely empty, so I can't show you the consistency, but this is it's so weird and I talked a lot about this product in my Asian beauty skincare like regimen video and I will link that somewhere up in here for you. If you are interested, you should go check that out. But the consistency of this, the only way I can really describe it is like plush. Like it's like a total hybrid between a gel and a liquid way leaning more towards liquid but not so liquid that it's like this. Like once I put it on a cotton pad to put it on my face and the cotton pad like soaked it all up. So it's like, it's not quite watery enough. Like it's very strange. It's a very strange um, formula. I really like it though. This definitely helped me keep my skin moisturized and I totally recommend this if you have dry skin. I have four different pointed Q-tips um, bags. I have three from Ulta, two from Swispers. If you have been here long enough, you know that um, pointed Q-tips are like my jam. I have many, many uses for them. Everything from acne, like extracting, to um, eye makeup, to lip makeup, to fucking anything. I use them for cleaning up when I'm doing my toes, like cleaning the lines um, with nail polish, all kinds of stuff. I'm hella into pointed Q-tips. And apparently everyone else in my town is too because like they're always gone when I go to purchase them so I don't fucking know but they need to be restocked. I also have two um, Real Techniques complexion sponges. I also really love these. This is the easiest way to do foundation especially if you're like a beginner and you're not like you don't want to spend forever blending or if you have a foundation that you feel like it's hard to blend I recommend <laughs> If you have a foundation that feels hard to blend, I recommend the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. <laughs> I totally recommend these, especially if you have a foundation that you feel like is hard to blend or if you feel like you can't blend your foundation enough, like you're new to makeup and you're worried you're going to fuck it up or you don't want to invest in brushes. These babies are like the jam. Always recommend. Forever. Love it. Love it. Makeup removers. Makeup remover wipes. These are the Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Cleansing Talus. They are the cheap, basic bitch, beauty on a budget, uh, baller on a budget <laughs> makeup wipes. Um, I think they do an okay job. I prefer the Neutrogena ones, but for something that I purchase so often, I refuse to pay the extra like dollar or whatever because it, that shit adds up. So for now, I will um I will continue to suffer. It's not that they're bad, it is that they're not as plush and like wet and juicy as the Neutrogena ones and I don't actually use these on my eyes. These do actually burn my eyes but I use eye makeup remover on my eyes anyway so like what do I got do? It is what it is. Someday when I'm like very wealthy, I'll just always buy the Neutrogena brand. This is the Peppermint Bark Philosophy Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath. I like this stuff so much and I don't know, like, okay, I'll level with you here. I don't like mint. This came in a set. I was like, 
This came in a set a long time ago. It takes me a long time to finish my shower gels. Um, this came in a set, a Christmas set, and I was like, I don't know how much I'm gonna like this. I don't like mint, but holy shit, there's no fucking way there's any mint in here because this thing is like, I'm amazed that it did not tint my skin brown because it smells like a literal chocolate bar. I love it because of that, and it also is, as you can see, red, and it looked really cool, like, on the loofah. Um, I really like Philosophy Shower Gels. I have many in my home <laughs> that I'm like slowly working through because they're definitely expired and I shouldn't really be using them, but I am. <laughs> I have two different Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glues. These come in my little um, Kiss fake nail sets. I get the Active Oval in medium length, I think is what it is. I've never seen Active Oval in a different length. They, um, this is what the thumbnail size looks like there. This is the glue that comes with the nails. I love this glue. I did try a different glue once upon a time. It wasn't any better or any worse. So I just always use the one that comes with it. I have two different brush cleaner cleaners. This is the Shaney Detox Professional Bl Brush Cleanser. I've talked about this before. I really like this one. And this is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser the Cleaner. I had not used this one before. I do not love it. I just, I don't love it. I don't think it's as good. I think this one is great. Something, it was something about like the bottle. The spray head on this bottle for one is really weird. It comes out very out all at once, which out all in a mist, like too much, too dispersed. Like you kind of want it to go in one place and foam, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I didn't like the brush head. I didn't feel like it was as thorough and I felt like I had to go in more than once. And I only use these for eye brushes, but um, I felt like I had to go in more than once and I just was not really feeling this one. I will not be purchasing that again. I would purchase the Shaney one again. I just recently got this one. This is the Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner. Um, I got this on sale at Sephora, so I don't know if they're gonna like be getting rid of it or something, but if it's still there, when I go to purchase again, I will purchase this because I do actually really like this one. And the bottle is a decent size. I think there was a one bigger size or it might've been a smaller, there was a different size. I would say that this is very comparable, if not a little bit better than the Shaney one. And if I do end up purchasing the Shaney one next time, I will invest in the bigger bottle because I do go through it pretty quickly. That is like kind of my one qualm is that I feel like I go through it pretty quickly for like, seems expensive, <laughs> even though it's not. I totally recommend this if you're looking for a good brush cleanser. If you have prime shipping, like that's always good. I have flash shipping, not prime shipping. <laughs> so this is preferable to me. Here is something that I finally used up, my God. This is the Biore uh, Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. I actually really like this. Um, I used this with my Clarisonic and liked it a lot. It was kind of hard to always get the Clarisonic rinsed out after using this because it kind of sinks in it. But um, I do honestly feel like this is a good face wash. Like, obviously I'm not like the model of perfect skin, but <laughs> I do like this. I like the charcoal in it. It has a little bit of those beads in it. I don't know if it will be in the coming time because from what I understand, those beads are now, like now becoming illegal. I don't know, but <laughs> I did replace this guy with the Neutrogena pink grapefruit non-beaded one because you're not technically supposed to use anything with the Clarisonic that is for like dermabrasion or like scrubbing or anything with those beads in them, but these were pretty sporadic and they were pretty big, not small, so like I felt like they were big and like squished like like they were easily popped or whatever. Like I didn't feel like it was like scrubbing. When I would use this with my hands, I did not feel like this was like, uh, what do you call it? That's a fucking word. Exfoliating, God damn. I did not feel like this was exfoliating, even though it kind of has like the little beads in it. It says that your pores should be twice as clean after just one use with uh, uh, comparatively to other ones. I don't know if that's like really true. It's not like the best most of me. It didn't like cure my skin problems, but I do like this. It lasted a long time for its, you know, price and everything. And it does have one of those bottles where it, it it's not gonna do it now because it's like fucked up, but it does have one of those bottles where you can turn it so that it locks if you're gonna travel. I always really like that. I wish the Neutrogena one had that. That would be nice. Talking to you, Neutrogena. This is the Pre Previce, 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 Previce 
Provise, okay, knock it off. Provise skin type one through six, Hydra Milk. It says hydration with potent antioxidant botanicals. Hydra Milk contains active levels of natural ingredients to help improve skin hydration and fight free radicals. Uh, we all fucking hate those free radicals. I have no clue what the fuck that phrase means. Like, I've heard that in my entire life and I have literally no concept of what it means. Who knows? <laughs> but this, I got this from BoxyCharm a long time ago, probably longer than I should be, have been using it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this is very thick. This is definitely like a milk, like, I don't know, milk itself is like thin, right? Like, it's like water, but like, I mean, it's not thin, but it's, you know, it's not like a cream, <laughs> but um, this definitely is a very thick uh, moisturizer. Um, I thought it was okay. I felt like it's not my favorite. I'm just not that into it and I didn't think I was gonna like the all-in-one egg mellow cream because at first I thought it was kind of like that but it's actually not. It's not that crazy thick. With this I kind of felt like if I didn't use a ton it was really hard to like distribute across my face. Like I don't know. It was just kind of weird. Like I'm, I wasn't that into it. And um, I, I would not be like pursuing finding this in the future. This is the Secret Clear Gel um, Deodorant in Brazil Rainforest Mist. This is the one that I do not like the scent of. And I'm not sure if it's still even around because I feel like I typically gravitate towards the like um, limited edition ones. This is the, <laughs> I was just gonna say, this is the same formula and it's like, new formula. Um, 48 hours, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> I like this deodorant. I prefer gel deodorant to any other kind. Um, I, although as a kid, I I have a very, like, what do you call it, strong memory of like being really freaked out by gel deodorant. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Now I've changed. Um, I do really like the secret clear gel deodorant. I do feel like it never gets on my clothes or anything or anything like that or any marks, which is super nice. Um, I don't feel like I have like extreme deodorant needs or anything, but sometimes I do feel like it doesn't do like a crazy like anything like it's not like I don't sweat <laughs> now that I have this on or don't know that I'm sweating, but um, you know, it, it, for the most part, it like does its job. This is the little sample of the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment uh, mask that I got in a Sephora Playbox once. And it says that it has eucalyptus leaf teoxy. I don't really know. Um, it said apply a thin layer to clean skin, leave on for, 15, for five to 20 minutes, um, uses a full face mask or a spot treatment. I liked this stuff, it did not, I feel like some people say that the first time they use Glam Glow, it makes them break out really bad after, like it's purging really crazy. Um, I did not have that experience. I also didn't feel like it was like crazy amazing. <laughs> like, I wasn't like, wow, this is definitely gonna be worth the price of like a full size of this, no. I'm definitely not like swayed to purchase a full size fucking 50, 60 dollar bottle of mud because I just don't feel like this was any different than my Freeman Feeling Beautiful charcoal mask. So like, that is my thoughts on that because one, I assumed that this tube size was gonna give me multiple uses. No, uh-uh, like this. <laughs> I had to really squeeze out to get all of this. It does say not for sensitive skin too. Avoid eye area, limit sun exposure while using and the week after, interesting. That's interesting. I don't know like what's in here or what's supposed to be amazing or whatever, but I was not that impressed. It's not that it was bad. It didn't hurt me. Like I said, I didn't purge or anything, um, but I was like not impressed at all and felt it was very like, very much like, you know, the hype. The hype is real. <laughs> I feel like skincare is one of those things where like sometimes it is good to splurge and pay more for a better quality product, but then there are like devils and sheep, wolves and sheep's clothing that kind of like make you think like, oh yeah, like it's super better for your skin because it's hella expensive. And I feel like it's just like kind of a total ploy, like they exploit other brands that honestly are better. Then I have this Purelease, 
pure lease pure lease pure lease i'm pretty sure it's pure lease uh daily lip nourisher nourisher with mango and shea butter this is like a lip oil kind of um i really really liked this I was really into this. Uh, this got me into the concept of lip oil in general, and I ended up going, and I'm sure you guys have seen this if you watch my channel, Get I went and got the Essence Prettifying Lip Oil, and I really like this. I have a backup over there because, as you can see, this one is getting very low. I really liked this. Uh, it took me a while to go through it, too, which was nice. I got this from a boxy charm. Um, <clears throat> took me a while to go through this. I was pretty into it, and if I saw this in stores, I've never seen this Pure Lease. I don't know that I would, like, pay more money for this Pure Lease brand, because honestly, the Essence Prettifying Lip Oil does the same, same, same thing, the same, same, the same thing, but I definitely, like, love that this got me into lip oil, so... Thanks, Pure Lease. I'm just not gonna buy you again. This is the Aloe Pure Skin Care Time Repair Serum, and it's like Aloe Pure, but then at the bottom it says Aloeette, which I'm like, okay, does anyone else think like Aloeette je tiens le Aloeette je te plumerai? Isn't that like, like, goose, I'm gonna pluck you? Like, isn't that what that means, that song? It's a very strange song. This is a time repair serum. Um, I used this as a moisturizer a lot. I did not use this in like addition to moisturizer for sure. I definitely use this as a moisturizer. I got this from a BoxyCharm and I liked it okay. Like, like I said, I prefer a more watery consistency of moisturizer as long as it does the job. And, um, this was definitely like kind of more watery and I was really into it. But, um, uh, from what I recall from BoxyCharm, I'm pretty sure this is like 50 to $60 and I just don't really like invest that much in skincare at this point in my life. The Neutrogena, that's what it is, on the spot acne treatment, vanishing cream formula. Um, if this means, va if by vanishing cream they mean like it does not show on your skin at all, that is a lie. <laughs> when you put this on, if you don't rub it in like super well, like don't leave the house because it looks like cum on your face. <laughs> same with the Clean and Clear Persa Gel Tin. They both do the same thing and they both are like that. So, you know, this is not the vanishing cream formula, whatever, if that if that's what they mean. It's a very vague statement because um, it makes it sound kind of also like your acne will vanish. Like you're, it's a vanishing cream, but I don't know. I think this is good. I also really love this. I typically buy this. I think this might be like a dollar cheaper or something. It's just a spot treatment kind of thing. I do honestly feel like this works. I do honestly, I know you're not supposed to pop your acne to like extract, I don't like the word pop, um, to extract your acne or anything like that, but I do. And I feel like this and the other, and the Clean and Clear work best when you have done that already because they're like soaking into the skin more, but I could be completely wrong. I recommend this. I think it works just the same as this because they're the same exact thing. <laughs> This has 10%. Does this say what it has? Wow, holy fuck. This is 2.5%. Okay. Interesting. Because I do not honestly notice such a crazy difference between the two. The last skincare item I have here is also from a Sephora Playbox. This is the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur, Hydro Blur Moisturizer. This shit is weird. <laughs> this is a fucking weird and there's none left in it. I wish I could show you the consistency. It feels kind of like a much, much, much thicker version of the Sephora, not Sephora, the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. Like a much, much, much thicker, but that kind of silicone-y kind of feel, I think that's probably where they're going with the blur-like uh, terminology there. Um, it's very strange, and I definitely thought it was gonna break me out, like, when I was rubbing it, and I was like, but, and, breakouts directly on my face, like, it, cause it feels unpleasant. I do not like the feeling of this moisturizer, and I'm pretty sure I saw that it, the full size is in a jar, and I don't think that I would like that. I think that's a strange way to have this full size anyway, but... 
you know, what, uh, whatever. It did not actually break me out. I was certain that it would, but it didn't. So thank you, Clinique Pepstart, for that. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. It didn't break me out, but like I said, it wasn't like a pleasurable experience. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was not like hella into it. So I definitely won't be repurchasing or purchasing this, but um, it wasn't bad. I just didn't like the texture like at all. <laughs> this is the Verb Leave and Mist. Um, this stuff is really cool. I really like this. If I was super into hair care and like spent a lot of money on it, like a lot of people do, I would definitely go for this. It's a leave and mist, but it's super thick. Like if you can see that it's crazy thick, like it will not come down. And if you shake it, like it does not do anything. I don't know how it comes out in a mist like it does because this must be a very powerful mechanism in there because this shit is like thick, but it comes out in a mist. Like they're not lying, um, but I really like this. I put, I would put this in my hair after it's wet before I would like you know, I mean, if I was gonna braid it like I did tonight, I would do it before I braided it, obviously. Comb it through, and it's just kind of like nice. It's just, it makes my, it made my hair soft. It says it detangles, defrizzes, and conditions. And I would say for sure conditions, like, I'd say probably I would give it de uh, defrizzing as well. I don't have like a really bad frizzy hair problem or anything though, so like, I'm not really like the perfect one to evaluate that, but um, I really like this overall. I'm not sure of the like overall price point of it, but I would imagine that it's, you know, it's from Sephora. I got this from a Sephora Playbox. I would imagine that it is somewhere up there. And I just don't like spend that much money on hair care stuff. Like I feel like I get a lot of hair care for BoxyCharm and stuff like that, that I never really have to buy it. And it takes me so long to go through it. Like just a really long time. Like, I've been trying to finish this fucking Oscar Blondie serum for, like, fucking ever, like, and it just won't go. Like, I just have no idea. I don't, I don't know what to do, <laughs> but, um, I did really like this. I do recommend this if you are, like, someone who wants to purchase an expensive hair care product. And the non, last non-makeup related item is Sash Feet. Um, this is a dry fast top coat. This is my favorite dry fast top coat. Sometimes when I put top coats on these Sally Hansen fake nails, occasionally of their own volition and for no fucking discernible reason that I can tell, um, they will get cloudy if it's not Sash Feet. <laughs> You know, the expensive one. Um, like, it is very finicky. Sometimes it won't do it if I do, like, minimal strokes of, like, top coat. Sometimes it will just fucking anyway. So I don't really know why it does that, but it never does that with Sesh Feet. I love Sesh Feet. It's a little bit more expensive than, like, I'd love to pay. <laughs> like, it's like, seven or eight, nine dollars, somewhere around there, I think. Um, but it's worth it, to be honest, because I don't have to, like, worry, is it gonna cloud on the nails or not? It dries fast, it does what it says it does. It's very thick, for sure, like, it definitely is not, like, a thin top coat or anything like that. It's definitely, like, depending on how thick you put it on, you could probably, like, do, like, a gel-looking kind of look, <laughs> but, um, it's not like unattractively thick if you don't like try to make it that way, you know? But yeah, I totally always recommend Sesh Feet because it is the bomb.com. All right, <clears throat> let's talk this motherfucker. I hate you. This is the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder Dissolve the Drama 2-in-1 Makeup Remover and Cleanser. My first beef with this, pro I got this from Sephora Playbox. My first beef with this product is, why the fuck would you make such a tiny opening on a bottle of eye makeup remover or makeup remover when you know you're going to put it on a cotton pad so you have to do it like that. So because the circle is so tiny that it comes out of, you have to do it like 25 different fucking times on one cotton pad. That's beef number one. Beef number two is that you be cut probably because it's this also this cleanser, you have 
have to rinse it off afterwards. Otherwise it will leave grease all over you. Therefore, do not fucking try to correct your makeup with this shit because you will fucking regret it. I've had very negative experiences with this. I have hooded eyes. I was trying to clean up around the hood of my eye right before I walked out the fucking door. I turned around fucking bright eyes and was like, God damn it, fucking A. Like, oh my God, it was like I had dunked my eyelid in oil. And I almost just like fucking ate a shoe. I have no fucking words for this product. I hate it so much. Like, I'm so not into it. I would never pay for expensive makeup remover anyway. I just hate this. I hate it a lot. I really hate it. The fucking sample packaging is stupid. The fucking that you have to rinse it off is stupid. Like, ugh, so over it. <laughs> it leaked in my tub of empties. Oh man, I'm so glad to be getting rid of this motherfucker. This is the Girlactic uh, Beauty Precise Eyeliner Marker in Black Noir. I got this from a boxy charm. Um, I was shocked and appalled when I found out how expensive this is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive uh, <laughs> from what I remember. This is a good eyeliner. Um, it's very decent. It dry. It did not take a super long time. Or it took a. It took a pretty long time to dry out, which is awesome. My ride or die eyeliner is always the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Two in One Serum. Fucking whatever. Like Physicians Formula always has like the longest names, but this is very comparable. I feel like with a lot of eyeliners, I'm like cannot do them because I'm like stupid, uncoordinated. But um, with the Physician's Formula, it's super easy. This is not quite as easy as a Physician's Formula, but it is definitely easy enough. It stayed really well, and I just, I really did like this. The Benefit, their real mascara. I am into this as well. I was so into this that I am intrigued and want to buy it, but I have never spent that much money on a product that you turn over quite so quickly as mascara. That is what the wand looks like. I have one eye that has very normal eyelashes and they're very easy to make them look nice. And then this motherfucker, Rebel, fight against free radicals, whatever the fuck, um, frequently likes to like give me the finger and not do what I want. It typically just like doesn't want to point outwards, like only wants to be like up. So like this eye's like that and this eye's like outwards, like pretty and beautiful and this eye's like this was easy to manipulate this bad eye, this rebel eye, <laughs> and I really liked the little ball at the end of the wand, was really nice. You know, a lot of companies do that, but this one I felt like was pretty decent. I really liked the formula. It did not smudge on my under eye, which is like a deal breaker for me if it does, and yeah, I was really into this. I'm very tempted. This and Urban Decay Perversion are like my two like... I don't want to spend that much money on a mascara because it's bad in three months, but I want it so bad. Ugh. Naked Cosmetics Trio. I got this from BoxyCharm in March. If you watch my recent videos, you'll see a look I did with this. The colors are beautiful. Um, I'm not going to swatch them because <laughs> I'm very allergic to this. Very, very allergic to this. <laughs> I thought that it was it was fine while I did that video and then I talked, I did two more videos talking about the boxes with the makeup on. So I'd say I probably had it on for about like an hour and a half to two hours. But then when I went to wipe it off was when the trouble be began. <laughs> like I have never had such pained eyelids before in my life. Like, it was very painful. It hurt to put eye cream on after I used this. And you know, let me just preface this by saying, I don't think that it's this brand because I checked like my BoxyCharm group that I'm in, like my sell and swap group, and not everyone was like, oh my God, like my eyes are bleeding. I think it's just me reacting to this brand. So it's not that Naked Cosmetics is a bad brand or anything like that. The colors are really pretty. They swatch really pigmented. They were really pigmented on the eyes. We want to check out the video. It turned out great. I was really into it. 
until I tried to take it off. I don't know, I've never had an experience like that before in my life and obviously I have worn a lot of makeup. I, you know, I own a lot of makeup. I've owned a lot of different brands of makeup and I've tried a lot of different makeup in my lifetime and I have never, ever, ever had this. It hurt so bad. My eyelids were so sore that when I, um, like I took it off normal, um, it was kind of like as soon as I got in the shower and started washing my face and I like put my eyes under the water and stuff and was using my hand. I don't wash my eyelids obviously with the Clarisonic, but I, I go like that, you know, I, I rub my eyelids and I was like, ah, it hurt. Like I honestly thought that I was going to be so much more red than I was when I got out of the shower. I like basically flew out of the shower and looked in the mirror and was like, what's happening? Because it's a little bit red, but I thought it was going to be like bleeding like <laughs> because it hurt so bad. It was like, it felt like they were like completely rubbed raw is the only way I can describe it. And you know, I took my little this guy which is like very cooling and stuff and I was like putting on eye cream like very gently with it and like it just hurt so bad it kept feeling like you know like I needed to like rub them to like itch them to make it stop but then any time that I touched them with any kind of thing including my hands it was like ow, 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 ow. and I had to like not wear makeup for like three full days because it was just like I was in an incredible amount of pain <laughs> I just don't even know. I have, I honestly have never had anything happen to me like that in my entire life and I hope it never does again because it was very unpleasant. But um, it sucks because I, I, you know, this is the only thing that I tried that was new for my eyes in that haul and, or in that, in that look. And so I feel, you know, pretty confident that it is this that I am allergic to. So yeah, this has turned into like a really long, like crybaby rant about my eyelids. But yeah, so I have to say goodbye to this because <laughs> it hurt me. <laughs> and I just, I can't take another chance. I don't want to be hurt again. Finally, we have a product that I was so excited about and was so disappointed about, and I wish so much, and I never do this, I wish I had not thrown away the packaging because I would have returned it. <laughs> this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix and Drops in Turn Me Matte. It looks like this, it comes in a little dropper, hence the word drops. Um, it says, add drops to transform for a matte finish. Um, it says, shake well before use. And I was like shaking it and I was like, wow, when I, before I even opened it, I was like, wow, it must have a lot of product in there. Cause I hear nothing like no liquid moving around, nothing. It must have no space to make noise, you know? Uh, -uh. <laughs> so it says shake well before use, um, add and mix two to three drops to your moisturizer or foundation and blend effortlessly can be used alone under makeup or as a liquid mattifier. So therefore like used alone on your face with nothing else before you put your makeup on or as a liquid mattifier like that custom FX, custom FX, custom cover, custom FX, cover FX. Like the cover FX drops that Tati reviewed which are really cool and are like liquid blotting paper. That's what this is portraying itself to be. <laughs> I just can't even, I'm just gonna have to show you. So I opened it up. Let me just, let me open it for you here, like right on camera. I'm gonna open it up here, make sure it's in focus. This is what it looks like. Do you see how, like I haven't even turned, like taken it all the way out and it's just like globs. How the fuck is that drops? Can you fucking explain to me? Like, What the actual fuck? And when you look, and that's why it makes no noise when you shake it because it is so fucking thick. Those are not drops. That's like strange lotion. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, like the consistency. And like, look, so now, now I just screwed it back on and a bunch of it's fucking squeezed out. So here, I'll show you here on my hand. There's the fucking drops that look like a suspicious substance. It's just like, it does not rub in nicely. 
it feels strange and even when it does rub in it doesn't even like it does nothing it does nothing so then I was like okay like I haven't used it yet like I'll just you know give it a chance I am so glad that I didn't put it over foundation or anything like that because I put it on my face as alone you know and like <laughs> fuck that it was like like it was like putting fucking I don't even know I can't even describe it. it was like a baked Alaska on my fucking face it was so strange I have no idea who fucking like okayed this this is so awful and I saw I've only seen one person use it on Instagram I saw someone use it on Instagram and like she put it on underneath as like a primer and like it was very quickly like very quickly glossed over and I was like mm-hmm fucking uh-huh like because this is a goddamn lie and um, they have like a pink one that's for like luminizer kind of like the cover FX like like highlight drops and then they have a bronze one that's like why would you want like a shimmer super shimmer bronzer I have literally no clue I will never ever use this <laughs> so it's going in the trash because I think that it is that is where it belongs comment down below let me know if you've used this fucking monster this goddamn hard candy camouflage mix and drops turn me mad shit <laughs> because I'm dying to know if anyone has ever had a successful application with it because it was just the second it touched my skin I was like no I don't like it at all and just don't like it at all like the video if you liked it helps me out I like it if you like it we all like it I like it together like with me I like you <laughs> subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this I put up videos every year whenever I, my fucking neighbors I have this goddamn neighbor who fucking comes home and she's 19 and like she must have like a fucking job at a at like Red Robin or something around here. <laughs> she comes home at like between 1.30 and like 2 every fucking night and like she comes with her friends and they like drive around the fucking cul-de-sac like playing loud ass music like for fun and I just don't fucking get it. They're so loud. They get out of the car. They're like slamming the doors. They're like shouting to each other across the hood of the car and shit. It's like I hate her so much because like try sleeping with your window open at night with that shit. Nope, never happening. Anyway. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this. I put up videos every whenever I feel like it, which is usually Mondays at noon. PST represent. I will see you guys next time. Bye!